line. I liked what I saw from EG, just wasn't enough to get them across the line, but better scenes. Uh, a better looking squad is just what we're looking for. Improvement around here in Hobbit. Looking to improve his I mean, dual record out long. The 1x bet odds are heavily favoring out of Cloud9 here as they brave the flames. Uh, they're quite quick up short into automatic. He was more than ready for this. Yeah, absolutely. Cracking shot to kick things off here on the second map. Casted by Sponge Machine and Bastion, of course. Yeah, well, he's uh, we, we we keep Bastion around for only the special casts. <laughs> and me, well, are those guys he's coming only out? here for the special cast. <laughs> machine, he's phoning in now from wherever in the world he may find himself. Well then, mid control. Granted to some degree here, Neelan will swing out and not connect the dots just yet, but that should be a guaranteed frag there for Hobbit. Neelan doing actually pretty decent work now on the repeat, so they have got us a significant advantage here. Four versus three, two low players. It's down to Hobbit really through the heavy lifting. All right, well, Malta, can you make some noise? Because uh, Cloud9 are going to need exactly that here. Hobbit on the patrol. Single box is... I automatically currently resides. It's the mid fight. Shiro has been softened up even further, down to 20 points of health here. Neelan just around the corner, and Sirk taking the duel. It's Neelan to go first, and whoa! Okay, oh, there's no one dead. Sketchy shots, but there's multiple players extremely low now. Inters will rip off the head of Automatic. That's the kit marooned on this site. You can on, see that there, directly the bomb, on please. the bomb. Yeah. Shiro That's... navigating through B, though, and Don't took it. down Hexed. Okay, well, there's a chance. So he actually has low HP, right? So he's looking for any uh, CT spawn players. No one there, unfortunately, for Shiro. So the retake is on. Still a decent chance for EG, but uh, need to start hitting some shots here. They certainly will. Neelan will find Inters, but just Cirque remaining. The fuse kit available on the side, as mentioned, is trying to buy some time here for Shiro. Who starts to encroach on the position, gives himself up, and now running out of bullets here. Just five shots left, and that's a cracking one. Gets the reload forward, has got the kit available to him, and Shiro is very low indeed. Is that time? enough? I think he has. I think you're dead on. Very, very close here, but a great clutch from Cirque, and we need to see the impact from him. So this is a great way for him to get started. A beautiful little one-on-two right there. It was an odd round. There was yeah. fights all across the map, but a very curious one, but that's a fire starter there for Cirque. You can see he enjoyed that. Gets a tap on the side from the coach, Vorborg, and that's a good round. A very good round indeed. Yeah, we all started with this lovely shot from Neelan, and uh, like we said, five bullets remaining there, but Sir gets the reload in. Shiro already so low, just had to hit one shot. Diffuse gear right next to him, in arm's reach, and we get into round number two. But of course, the bomb planted and so many kills being found, there will be a force buy in response. Quite a potent one as well. A couple of rifles in the form of the Galil and AK-47. And no particular stance right now. We have got three players in towards the tunnels, but that's more to be fending off the CTs that are inquiring about lower B. Well, that's going to pay us most very early here. Hex put on notice, just tickled on down and deploy a defensive smoke wall. Has the support of Neelan, who has a secondary smoke, and not too far away towards CT spawn is the hero of the previous Cirque. So they have a crossfire now for a mid to B, but as they mantle on up, they will take control of the Xbox position. The bomb still currently down in T-spawn will have to be picked up, and I think that Shiro has been tasked with that now. But he's just scooped that up and can join the rest of his team over towards shore A. Now, they're going to go for a full set piece here, Henry. They can smoke off elevator, do the bridge smoke, volley the site, flash and go. Hobbit It's giving up the AK. Yeah, just trying to bait out any residual CT utility if possible. And uh, grenades being thrown towards middle as well, but no one taking significant damage just yet. Automatic isn't towards CT spawn. We'll drop that smoke now. Back up Zerg towards the Goose position, but it looks at things as well, but still posturing. Not clear where they finish up. Could go for the mid-split still with two players entering towards lower. And we've I got Neelan to defend. Mid to be here, so you're right. How many does Neelan get? I would say one and a half. One and a half? That's the one. Here comes the half, the half-man Hobbit. He's going to take Neelan out of the equation. Now it's all on Hex. The newest addition to this EG roster really has to get a lot of work wow. done here with the MP9. The drop-in, a clinical shot. But there's still time for C9 to overrun the bomb site, And this is back-to-back -back games with C9 starting on the T side where they've lost the pistol and then won the... Oh, actually, no, it went the other way. They won the pistol and then lost the second round last exactly. time. Either and way. Yeah. Dig through the box right there. That's a bit of a nuisance. Two on two now. Still a chance here. Shiro can't find significant damage to dissuade them otherwise. So we'll see a Molotov deploy towards the double doors. That's it, though. A couple of flashbangs remain on the T side. Not too effective. In this retake scenario, Inters with the MP9. If he gets the first kill cleanly, should be job done. But uh, we'll see what we can make of it. There's the frag. Back to automatic now. Looking to prove himself here. The double spray not available. And it will be Cloud9 answering back quickly there. Chiro almost blew that there yep. because Inters couldn't really reload in that position. Exactly. Really. So Chiro uh, made it very difficult on Inters, but he will course correct there in the final moments. And 1-1. Will it be the force buyback? That is the question on the tip of everybody's sure. tongues.
Well, I think it's confirmed there. I just saw two scouts coming out. I don't mind it on Dust2. We've seen a lot of teams convert with the, the last of the two snipers. HE's available as well. Deagles to find the kills. They've spotted that first player. They'll exchange blows, but it's Shiro, the AWP, that's feeling it more. So, not using Bogdan's law here, Chad. They've actually gone with the the reverse. Given the, the reverse. Oh, there it is. All right. Anything better, rather? Yeah, that was curious for a moment there, wasn't it? Now, how sketchy is this one really going to get? This early upper dark crawl is nice. It's going to give them the information that they're likely out long, which Cloud9 are only getting now. And if it is the standard approach that we tend to see, the, one of the better ways to rumble this is jousting with the scout from top of A. It seems crazy to take yeah. a fight like that, but we, we've seen a lot of teams... Oh, fortunate there for Hexed. But the loose piece of all of this is Neelan, who has made it through towards T-spawn. So still an opportunity here, but Automatic's not looking. Uh, he's about to get shot in the side of the head. Yeah, that's set up. Um, there's a key flaw in that one. Yeah, weren't patrolling towards long whatsoever, but uh, unfortunately for them as well, that's going to spell the end of the round. Just Neelan is in T-spawn. And you're right, though. With the double scout setup, you would assume one of those would be positioned towards long just to get those long-range tags in and soften them up for the cross, but uh, they weren't worried about that position whatsoever. And let me tell you, they should have been. Yeah, that's uh, a rough one here for EG. So as long as they don't find themselves in a 7-1 hole like they did in the in the first map, I think there's an opportunity for them to be competitive, but not there's for the... kill, maybe. Oh, oh. That's the orb. That's the orb. But Shiro doesn't know how lucky he is. He does not know how fortunate he is. He won't go down here without a trade because, uh, well, now he's been spotted and Inters is coming. Inters is Superman. He doesn't wear a cape. He just is. He just is Superman. Because he does so much for the team. That, uh... What's, uh, what's his kryptonite, though? What's his weakness? Hmm. That's the question. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. All right. I haven't really, I've never encountered that question before. <laughs> you, haven't really, you haven't gone down the path no. of this analogy too deeply? No, no, no. I'm trying to think, well, are there any superheroes that don't wear costumes? Um, I guess it's part of the deal, really, isn't it? Have to wear like a, a funny costume, yeah. You have to? I think so. I'm trying to, I'm trying to think now. Well, the flash they had on Neelan is uh, in the dirt. Shiro paid light work of that. He's going to look for a couple more here. Careful, could go down. Indeed he will. You got pepperoni right there. Hobbit, run. If you run, Hobbit, you can get an AK. Run, stretch your legs. Oh, he's not going to make it in time. Okay. Well, this is still a great start here for Cloud9. 3-1. Is there an AWP available for Cirque? It does not look likely here. He's into an M4A1S. The util, yeah, it's there. Diffuse kits, well, not to be purchased just yet. Automatic has enough, but likely to opt for util here. He's actually left with a molly and a smoke, so... Okay, Shiro. Oof. Hurts. Yeah, the AWP is going to find a bit more action here, I think. Absolutely. I think you might be onto something there. And uh, no orb for EG available. But here's the uh, the old hinge smoke. And plenty of variations of this over the past few weeks of uh, Pro League. Sometimes it doesn't land, but uh, this one's absolutely fine. As uh, they'll go back towards the B tunnels. And the B split has been very effective in the last few weeks of Pro League as well. They actually might be setting up for a contact play towards the back of B. Neelan is there, but only with the FAMAS. I say only, he was getting double kills in Inferno with the weapon. Get the smoke off the doors, flash through. Here's the flash. Smoke in response. Do they beat they it? coming through. They absolutely do. And now, oh, that's a great kill. Dave. Unfortunately. <laughs> he sounds so dejected with that one. Well, Welcome to Counter-Strike. Yeah, uh, now we is... send the next 40 seconds waiting. Yep, unfortunately. Not the most exciting prospect. And it will be 4-1 in favor of Cloud9. Well, let's, Losing the pistol. let me have a look at the Twitter sphere right now. Because there's, always, there's always something fun on there. There's uh, always something. But somebody did send me a tweet. And that somebody, I, if I find the name, doesn't have to be nameless for much longer here. Uh, they were questioning my opinion, and I, I guess we can bring your opinion into this, sure. Henry, because I'd love to hear about it. Let me find the tweets. Uh, Hi, Mr. Chad. Thoughts on non-in-game leaders sitting in the middle. Just saw Inters in the middle, and Torji was middle for Mouse. And that is from Ace, and uh, he's tweeting in from New Zealand. I guess it's not that deep, right? It's wherever they feel more comfortable. Like, it doesn't really matter where he sits. I suppose you get the most vision in total in the middle, but uh, I don't think you have to sit there, right?
Well, I, I understand the question because most teams, we do see the in-game leader in the middle. Yeah. Some teams, you'll see the AWPA, and the AWPA in the middle makes sense because they're going to be looking at their teammate screens exactly. because they tend to rotate into position. Having Inter Central is curious because he's a supportive element. Mm -hmm. right? Sometimes he's anchoring bomb sites, but he, he's also and, on Inferno. He's quite active on the CT side. Flashbangs and looking at teammates and their pushes. True. Maybe it's just about the, the, the formation there, I suppose. But yeah, I don't think it's too deep. The, the in-game leader doesn't have to sit in the middle. Yeah, it's not a necessity. But uh, it is traditional for sure. Either way, we'll get into uh, the next round here. Still a fighting chance for EG. They did save three rifles, bear in mind, but this is a problem. They don't have much to speak of to fend off these MAC-10s. No helmets is the more important fact. They're automatic. They're completely ran down by the SMG. And uh, that could be a bomb site under a lot of scrutiny now. It's a bit of a B lean from the CT forces as well. Just Breeze defending, and uh, wow. Great shots from either side. Double kill potential for Neelan, but can't convert. Four on two, and uh, that's gonna be the round once again. So just trying to hold on to the AK-47s, make sure they don't give anything over. Just juggling those weapons across, and Breeze will have no chance. If well, they've, they've made the educated assumption that Breeze being an A-holder is A, so... Uh, makes sense, wouldn't it? Yeah, they've started to shop. explore their options towards B. Boys, you know where he is now. The bomb's bomb. in lower. Let's um, go. Let's, let's get the bomb. Nafi's grabbing the tunnels. it. He's gonna go plant. Axile and Hobbit to contain for now. Oh, he's gonna he's gonna die without looking, isn't he? Hello. Thank you very much. And oh, nice mid air catch. snatch from Axile. He's been practicing the catch. Been out there with Groove playing uh, catch in the car park. That's not true. <laughs> not true. <laughs> well, it was an impressive catch nonetheless. That's for sure. And uh, five one. Similar scenes to Inferno. Bear in mind they were seven one up, and uh, still was a very competitive game towards the end. So, Cirk now with the AWP. They've got a nice full buy here. A couple of kits. They've got some helmets out as well. Fortunately, no Mac tens in the mix this time. Shiro has been doing a lot of damage on the cross, and this time he'll miss out. But it's a long take coming through, as we'll see. Nafani push his way through these smokes. Enters. Doing his absolute best to cause some damage here from the double doors, providing the covering fire. But the CTs have gone elsewhere. They've gone for the reactive play here, Chad. They've lost long and get to consider options towards upper B. So, sure, no one's there, but a lot of information garnered now, and they can uh, respond accordingly as they will detect them towards long. All five players here. All right, well, there's been a bunch of different ways to attempt to defend against this type of maneuver. CTs. Have a bit of utility left over here. A couple of incendiaries, some smokes, some flashes. They know that they have the map control. They're going to send one prong forward here. It's going to be Hobber to test the waters, to dip his toes in and see how this one feels. The smoke's pluming perfectly. No issues there in that wall. One way smoke from the CTs is Hobbit. Let's take the space and we'll grant the first fight. Beautiful work there. Great control from Hobbit. Now he's under the onslaught. Now the teammates can join him. Inters is taken down. Breeze during all of this. It's just automatic standing. And well, oh, he's down to 19. Ooh. That's a great shot through the smoke. And it's a three on three, but they've lost all real estate over towards A. They really have. Automatic does very well to get a double kill. Nafani, though, can he find fortune on the timing? I dare say he will. Not quite. So a player in towards short, but it's the AWP that's in a lot of trouble. Circle will be dropped. Automatic still isolated in towards CT spawn. Molotov will either force the hand of Hext or force them to go back. And it looks like it's the latter as uh, Nafani looks to conclude things. And there it is. Very nice work from Hobbit. Chad. great pathing as well. Good understanding of where they could be and punishes them for it. I like that little move. Obviously, you know, you want the support there of the teammates, but they were sending him forward to see what the response was like, because if he got over to the ramp and there was a lot of flames and the smoke's right. gonna start to fade, then at least they could have a second option. So really well handled there from Cloud9. And this is a great little lurk here from Nafani coming out late. Opportunity to do so yet. Peeking towards middle. Two kills to his name so far as we enter round number eight. It's long control once again for Cloud9, throwing the Molotov towards the corner, Axel. Oh, we actually opened things up. That's a kill towards Breeze. That was a long. Just making sure no one's in that car. Yeah, I think that's fair to say, it's clear. And we've got a three-man stack towards the A side, bear in mind. Hex pushing in towards upper B, but a very defensive hole from Nafani. He might have timed this well. He spots him, you can see by the movement. And uh, there we have it, Shiro confirming the round here towards A. Well, it is obviously just a lighter investment here, but this is coming way too easily now. Axar will spot another one towards the top of the site. And Neelan, oh, he's gonna give up his position, so likely. Noting automatic still up in A and Axile will clean house. Eight to two for Axile now. Uh, looking very tidy. You've got 10 kills for Hobbit. You've got eight for Nafani. 
five apiece for the likes of Shiro and Inters. On the other side of things, Hex is having a rough go of things. Cirque as well. Actually, they're all having a rough go of things over here on the EG side and reflected yeah. by the scoreline. Oh, dear. Yeah, absolutely fair. But it is 7-1, the same scoreline where EG came to life in Inferno. So uh, we'll see what they can do with it. Like I said, Cirque with the AWP now. Maybe a boost for him towards short or something like that. It's actually a pretty standard setup. He's going to be throwing the flashbang towards long against his take. And Shiro, who does pull one crossing over towards the pier, but doesn't quite catch it. So uh, they'll use that information now, knowing that they're down towards long. They'll get up in towards the cavalry position. That's going to be Nafani leading the charge. Happy to take the dual dry, potentially, Chad, I would say. Judging by his uh, cadence up towards the short area. Got a bit of demeanor about him here, doesn't he? So yeah. uh, they, they could do anything they want right now. They, they have a lot of map control here. They're not being postured or pressured by EG at all until this moment. Cirque creeping nice forward, fight. being brave. There's the flash completely blind and dead. <laughs> Made a bit of a meal of it, but uh, one he enjoyed, I'm sure. Nafani finds uh, the opening incision towards the A site and it's automatic. Maybe on for the double kill. Oh! What? No, no, no. Oh, this is an absolute nightmare now. They barely did any damage there, Chad. Yeah. There was uh, a couple of freebies. And they know Breeze plays long. So um, we'll return next round to the action. <laughs> Rough so one. We do have a, someone coming in with a, a bit of a comment. Barrel spotted. Dead. Uh, regarding a superhero who doesn't wear a costume. Okay, I'd love to know. This gentleman's name is No Name. Right. So uh, they have to say, the answer to your question is Hooksy. He is my superhero. <laughs> he doesn't wear a cape or a costume. Smiley face. That's fair enough. Can't argue with that, to be fair. Uh, it's relevant. It's funny. It's just what we needed here to lighten up the broadcast as we enter <laughs> round number 10, 8 to 1, as uh, EG. Oof, they are in need of a superhero performance. I have uh, received some good news for everybody. I believe that the diss track uh, that has been recorded by the Sun Gods in response to the Night Shift, night shift I believe likely called, yeah. to be released today. Today? Likely. Do we have an ETA? What sort of time yeah, will it be dropped? I don't have an ETA. Maybe a 7 p.m. sort of situation. Everyone sure. could be online. But it might be a song that a lot of you could be setting as your ringtone uh, for the future. It's going to be saying that... It's, it's, it's a very catchy hook, hasn't it? It does, it does. You'll be singing along with your friends at home. Uh, so we, we hope you enjoy. Well, we would be giving sneak peeks to players uh, in matchmaking. That's true. And they've been loving it. They've been We've actually been, singing along with us. They didn't even hear the track and they've been singing with us. So um, here's Automatic, however, though. Oof. Well, he's taking a lot of damage. We'll see where he can find one of these headshots. That's not a bad one. Takes down Shiro, back to a 4-on-4, four four, but of course, only operating with very little here. Two scouts, two pistols, full long control, four Cloud9. They've got Hobbit patrolling outside towards the B tunnels as well. He's in the T-spawn side of it. Hex flirting with the idea of hunting for info, but uh, a bit of a long cross set up here. Nafani and Inters with the bomb in tow. Axel. We'll have the AWP just to cover the cross. And this is where you have a real problem. You've got no utility to really shut this down. They can just walk up. I guess Breeze, he's pretty handy with the Deagle. We'll be able to do some work here, but uh, will he be detected? Absolutely will. And uh, Scout does hit another one, but uh, should receive a bit of nade damage there. Uh, can he be alive automatic? No kits, of course, but an AK-47. I guess you give it a little go. Have a look, see if you can find yourself a, another weapon or two to carry into the next round of play. Loss bonus, as you all know, is... Axed out. The thing is, when they do go for this, the flash, the flashbang will come out just like that. They've got another one ready to go, which will probably catch automatic fully. We'll see. Here comes the second. Has to wait for it. And they'll go for a boost. Not bad. This is actually looking possible now. Goes to the jump. I don't think they have time for this. It's going to be Axile's AWP now, just to fend them off. Almost a double kill there. Would need to be defusing yesterday. And Axile with an AWP highlight. Almost got all three. It's automatic. <laughs> he taps the bomb for good luck. Yeah. Everybody dies. Yeah, and that doesn't really do anything. Unfortunately for EG, it doesn't affect the finances. We've got $16,000 on two players there. So that's the absolute maximum we can have in CS. Goes those kills literally mean nothing. Yeah, say, we Jeff. cap your earnings in CS. Yeah, we have to at some point. <laughs> it gets a little bit out of hand, but... Uh, Cloud9 still on cruise control. A decent effort. Maybe a chance of winning this. We didn't jump, I suppose. Well, but we went for the old school scout. Yeah, true. You remembered when MBK was just jumping on overpass time and time again. But uh, at least they can get the purchase out here. 9-1. It would need to start now. I'm going to give them a minimum of four. Okay. I'm being Which is still very possible. kind. Which is still possible. And uh, but not, not likely. Probably improbable. But uh, we'll see. Towards lower B, Neelan. Much quieter than he was at Inferno, but a nice little flank here. And the first kill for the CT side. Can they convert this one? They have to, really. So that's the sort of shot we're looking for. 
A lot of work to be done still. The bomb signed a lot of pressure, and this second kill could be absolutely everything as they isolate the AWP of Cirque. It's just Hex here towards the back of the site. Ducking and weaving through the smoke, Chad, and he's getting a Hello. lot of damage through the Molotov. We're back to a three on three after their first two openings for EG. Look at Hobbit, who's lurking around middle right now. As long as he doesn't go down to the push, it's all oh, great find from B Breeze there. Good timing on the push. Still util deployed towards window to buy a little bit of time. Automatic has a kit, so does Breeze. It's a gap in the smoke. Needs to be careful, Axel, on the cross. Hard retake. Here we go then. Molotov's HE's deployed. And it's up to Axel to try and find that first kill. He certainly delivers, and now a two versus one. They have kits available. Inters, though, will it be overlooked? First kill is healed, and it's down oh, to one just bullet. one bullet now, Chad. Will he hit the shot? Oh, How has he done that? <laughs> Legged as well. One bullet. Legged as well. No way. That's the way it goes down. A five on three, one bullet left in the clip, and he absolutely destroys him. Ten to one in style. Oh, dear. Oh dear, oh dear indeed. That's all you can say really, isn't it? It was really <laughs> well handled, handled though by Inters, right? Throwing the, the utility behind that safe smoke, knowing that Hex only has a few places to stand and then it had the buffer of his teammate. And then this is it, one bullet, leg shot, bang. <laughs> uh, Naphany getting fired up about that one. He enjoyed it. They enjoyed that round. Big stuff from Cloud9, looking to run this one home quite quickly. Hobbit has a ring around his neck. Did you see that? I didn't, but it does make sense, I suppose. I wonder if that's part of the, the gag or if that's his I wedding th ring. I think maybe both. It would Actually, make sense. Yeah, it could be both. Yeah. My I precious. Think, yeah, ex exactly. That does make sense. But um, still a fighting chance here, but I, I, I keep saying that it is not being converted at all. Maybe this is the one. Now I've set it up like that. We'll see an EG round here at the 5-7, but we'll see. Need him with an opportunity here. One, he converts, and there's maybe a chance for second as well. As they've got the AWP on the other side, that makes things a little bit problematic as they're being strangled now in the B tunnels. But, well, there it is. There's one more coming, though, Henry. And, oh, Shiro did spot him there, so... Noted towards the upper tunnel, just cleaning how Shiro now really likes the scoped rifle here on the dust too. And poor automatic, last man standing, not for much longer. And uh, Even if he gets one, no, it's the shop. Tag though. 11 to 1. Mm. He did say four would be the minimum here. It would have to be the perfect game from this stage. Swing towards the corner, flashes over, going for that long take once again. CTs have nothing to say about it. Have to give in. Decent incendiary, at least, does some damage towards Shiro. Circle on that orb, but needs to start fragging hard now. Okay, well, at the car position, does have the support of Breeze. Mid to be slip is on Daphne's agenda here. He's taken a lot of space. So if they actually just harass this A site and the rotation point of Neelan feels that he is pressured and crosses mid noisily, Daphne will have. Actually, Daphne has this kill regardless. Uh, see you later, Neelan. Yeah, well, they have to plug the gap towards the B rush. So they play two players to start B. They have to worry about long, where the one-way smoke was thrown. Circle draws something back. This could be his round, but they've clamped down on the mid to B. Hex. Oh, he's in so much trouble. <laughs> Just when he thought I've done significant damage to one of them outside B. Well, three more of behind me in the bomb side. So uh, you've now got a retake with no kip. That's an AWP, and uh, he's low. So once again, unfortunately, yes, it will be the save. You, you don't love to see it, but... Uh, that's the way it's gone down. He couldn't be more far removed from the situation that he tried. They're down towards long, just have to get in. And uh, there we have it. It will be round 12 for Cloud9. Very convincing manner once again. What can you say about this, Chad? Not a lot. Uh, I'm looking for any entertainment that our lovely viewers can be filling us with right now. We know that we use the hashtag ESL Pro League as well as EPL oh, hot, hot takes. takes. Oh, and they're going to take everything away, aren't they? Like hot cakes. It's going to be a push through the door off the back of the flash from Nafani. He's holding the horses for now. The second flash, and so not blind. I don't know if he'll be able to brute force this. That molly. Ah, uh, Axile, they know they're owning them so badly. He runs through his flames and takes another kill. So I love to see it. Denies the AK, but uh, he will hold on to the M4 and the AWP. I enjoyed that as well. You could definitely sacrifice one of your players. And uh, there we have it, 12 to 1. Okay, well, I think we're getting what we expected here today, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I definitely want to see more from EG. Do you, do you think uh, there's any hope for them going through this group in your heart of hearts? I think that there's a chance they can win a couple of best of threes. I think people are like, oh, they're not even going to be able to contest it. I think so too. I think if they win one or two best of threes, then then that's like they, they great haven't for them. really got going yet. Have they? they started off seven one down in Inferno, now twelve one down in Dust Two. Uh, it's against Cloud Nine. I would say the favorite in the group as well. Like, sure, it's going to be them and Liquid, surely. Yeah, yeah, that's that's fair.
I think Liquid are, are going to be brilliant this tournament, to be honest with you. Having your Kinder's addition to the team, I, yeah. I, I think, has is, is been a huge, huge positive for them. Bringing some of the outsiders' uh, DNA into their game plan. Exactly. And uh, that's in a closer elk to the way Cloud9 approached the game. So Absolutely. Uh, it's really cool to see. I know that uh, Jason did a podcast with Nitro where they discussed at length if people are interested in going and having a look for that. And that's Moses, if you don't know him like that. One of the commentators here. It's a nice enough guy, He's I would pretty, say. Pretty cool. All right. So this is the blue bin standoff. Uh, it's a classic. Highlighted here by the OBS team. We've got Rushley, one, two, three, four, five, six. And uh, of course, Jay Raz is Naphany taking a jewel. He's actually keeping two players busy while his team takes the A site. So Naphany's doing his job and more. He will likely go down here. And, well, he confirms uh, his two there, at least they're yeah, right. Yeah, so, so that's information. Hello. Okay, a chance of a round here, but they know exactly where the remaining CT forces are. So remember, two down towards long. And we just got that kill in CT spawn as well. So where were they positioned? It can't be another save. Got to go for this one, presumably. Got a kit. Flash. Go for it. Got to go for it. Good flash. Oh, they're waiting for the double again as well. These we teams go. always want the diligence, don't they? Oh. Hex with two, the young gun. Worst spot ever, Shiro. Now watch him clutch this. Watch no him way. jump no off way. a bunch. No he's way. got a tech nine. He's got all the nonsense. Shiro about to be the absolute hero, Henry they Jeep. They assume he's down towards long. That's the thing. So there's the first kill. Don't do it like this. Don't do him like this, please. It's the HP player as well. Very low. He's very low! Oh, oh, oh. They, got they got it. It was the defuse. It's all under control, but that said it all, didn't it? <laughs> He's got an orb in CT spawn. Pulls out the Tech 9, kills all three of them. Sure, the round slips away, but that was so tantalizingly close. What an effort that was. Desperately trying to make this retake happen. They do eventually, but it costs them absolutely everything there. The Tech 9, Just one more second. Well. Oh. Less than a half a second in it. And uh, we get into the final round of the half here, ladies and gents. 12 to 2. It's well, pretty we're doing this double orb setup, Cirque and Automatic. Oof. Flirting with the danger of death there. Jumping across the double doors, avoiding damage at least. And it's Cirque watching this lower B position flashed coming in. And oh, uh, that's Nealon. Him. Oh, Nealon. We've highlighted that position a lot this yeah. last few weeks, haven't we? And normally it works, but nothing seems to be working today. Poor EG. 13 destined to be knocked onto the scoreboard here. Breeze has to push long at some juncture. Hex, Hex has to push this up a dark tunnel. Yeah, he's just uh, waiting to die at this stage. And, uh, well, there it is. And this will take him down. And uh, not the most compelling half for an EG fan, I'm afraid. They are unearthed here, as is every week of Pro League. New lineups, new players, and uh, exciting finishes. But uh, I don't think we'll be seeing that here as uh, Cloud9 just need a couple to tie things up a series point. We do see a long take from EG, though. Smoke's available for the cross, Molotov for the bomb site, flashbang in the mix as well. That's what I predict, and uh, with full five players there, you'd assume that's the likely outcome. Good start, though. Breeze will cut things open here towards A. Flash does slow them down momentarily. Shiro to poke his head out from the top of A, and he sees an awful lot here. Shiro gets the first on the fight. Hobbit's here, but he's been absolutely wrecked by Cirque, who his impact has been on the pistol rounds. Let's see if he can continue. Yeah, the dismount here from Shiro, but the boost in response as well could be absolutely everything. Cirque, he's Not aware of it. Yeah. yeah. Okay, well, unless Inters can do a whole lot here in this short push, he's fluffed his lines as well. Cirque, fortunate to be alive. He has had great impact on the pistol rounds, as mentioned. And Actually, giving away a couple of kills here. Nafni still has this defuse kit. They need to be careful here. Sir can hex to low. There's still a chance, but uh, it is Amazing, Shiro. melting away there. It's automatic, yeah. We'll send Shiro packing. So there it is, both pistols, just to know, going in favor of EG. Okay, and in uh, both pistols, Sir had two kills. Let's see if they can hold on against the force spy that's likely coming out. Shiro can get a scout with Kevlar that he already has, so that's nice for him. Not the best feeling when you're 13-3 down, you've won both pistols. Uh, actually, quite a miserable feeling, I, I yeah. imagine. Um, Suggest you didn't really do a whole lot in that first half, but let's see whether they can convert here. There will be a force by response. Now, I'm sure with uh, this double scout set up in Cloud9, they will be focusing towards long. That's where you can do most of the damage. Got themselves a couple of 5.7s as well. CZ, for old time's sake, in the hands of Hobbit. Yeah, interesting. We did uh, a hot takes section for, for each group so far where we just have a little interview tidbit and, and mine i'll spoil it for everyone because mine are the least interesting you want to hear from the players uh mine is that the cz 75 should have a 300 dollars kill reward like yeah what is it what has it got right now 100 bucks 100 bucks yeah that's when it was super op though right that's when it made a lot of sense like no one even uses it anymore so exactly i'm not even sure it's a hot take it's probably a reasonable take yeah you know me. Virtuals, hashtag reasonable, reasonable takes <laughs> 
But uh, yeah, I think that's uh, that's a good cause. No reason for it to be less than that. The fact no one uses it for that reason, you still get 300 bucks with the 5.7, which is arguably better at this point. Much more meta, at least. Well, we're trying the rinse and repeat method here. And uh, Shiro will be able to play a one-way smoke of his nice. own. The nade is actually landing quite nicely in the middle of the pack there. Chunk of damage done. The flash forward. Here's the CZ75. And, well, it's going to get one and done. Still an interesting round. Cloud9 have softened them up here, but the presence is the problem. I've still got two players towards shorts. One of those is Axa with the aforementioned scout. That would be a hell of a shot. Can't quite connect it. Is Nafani now? We'll try his luck. Smoke fading. Good flashbang, though. That's not bad at all. They've actually brought it back to a three on three. That's uh, the backstab from Hex is a little bit dicey, Chad. Ooh, they know where Axel is. This should be the kill and an upgrade. Axel can find himself the Galil. Now, does he want to? Bomb's not planted. Around? He's got 18 bullets. Doesn't have to reload. Has a smoke as well. Bomb going down now. So 40 seconds from this moment. So they'll smoke off towards short. They'll be aware of the prospect of the CT spawn position for Axel here, but. Uh, if he can isolate one of these fights, automatic is very low. One bullet would do it. And gives up his spot. So that's going to be it. Nice work from Neelan there. So they will convert. A bit dicey at one stage, but overall, no harm, no foul. Round three should be theirs as well, as we'll see a full EK for Cloud9 here. They'll manage to save the AK and the Galil. So signs of life, at least. Uh, trying to make that scoreline a bit more respectable, I suppose. Oh, the nade landed right on the toes there. So you can see what Shiro's thinking. Throw the nade, step out, and get the tag, and it's right. likely a kill. So uh, the thought process was there, but Hex, he saved the round. So a great flank from the new addition. Well, smiles all round, it seems. Those of you don't laugh, you might cry. Sometimes the tears are justified. <laughs> Sometimes, for sure. So this is a B stack, everybody. It's where you stack the lion's share of your forces on a bomb site, and then we, as the commentary team, call it a B stack. So uh, it's likely to be rumbled now. Cirque has taken out Nafani. Might draw a few of these players out of their hidey holes. I think you might be right. They'll be exploring their options towards short and indeed the A bomb sites as they'll be stampeding up there towards now, leaving Hexed on this side of the map just to keep them tethered. Here on B, all four players for Cloud9 reside here. Got to make sure they go through the motions, though, and handle this one correctly. Don't want to assume anything. Uh, but that's going to be round over. Not really much Cloud9 can do. Maybe in a, an exit kill or two. That's about it. So the thing is, it's hard for us to get excited about a game when the scoreline is, is this stark. So if EG are able to go on a huge streak of rounds, exactly like what we saw from Cloud9 in the first half, they lost the pistol, then won 12 in a row before they uh, lost and then won to get 13 on the half, then I think there's a chance to get excited about things. But I'm just looking for how put together EGR. I think on Inferno on their T side, it you know, was, wasn't too terrible. They had some, some good ideas. I, I like some of the executes they had. They made some good decisions. It was the CT side where I think the, the hard work was done by Cloud9. Grab these kills just to finish things off. Getting a little bit messy for them, but uh, well handled overall, I suppose. Only two players going down, uh, but 13-5. A lot of work to be done here for EG, but uh, this is the best possible start they could hope for. Converted the pistol victory to a 3-0 scoreline in the second half. Don't look at the overall scoreline. Just remember 3-0 here for now. Take it round by round. Do what you can. This is where Circa opened things up. Nice shot from Axel with the Desert Eagle, but not much else to report as we'll see the orbs come out now. Shiro challenging towards middle potentially. And we are underway. Let's hold it. Just patrolling this upper B position. No one towards the tunnels whatsoever, Chat. And Anthony's actually heading towards T spawn. All right. Could be a really nice maneuver. It's an awful lot of space very early, and well, guess who's coming back? Automatic. How He's aware is he? Well. He, he? He seems somewhat aware that this is a possibility. Uh, well, maybe, maybe not that early. So you could see he was at least acknowledging the fact that there could have been a push, but didn't expect someone to already be basically in T spawn. So now condemned to long, which may be EG's coffin in round number 19. Well, let's see what they can make of it. Sure, they are committed to this. They, they've they lost full control of elsewhere on the map, taking quite a lot of damage there from Hobbit as well. Drop the incendiary just to make sure they can't get close to the corner. And uh, that would delay them. Their, their smoke's already down on the crossover chat, so they do have two in tow, so there's still a chance for the cross, but Flashbang's being deployed now as well. This could get rough for them. 
Good flash and a big spray down from Hobbit. Doing so much damage there. Eventually taken down. Four versus three in Cloud9's favor. It's up to Breezer. He needs to go above and beyond. Deliver a world-class performance. Drop though, unfortunately, there's the bomb. Neilin trying to worm away in the top of the smoke. Go. Zerk has grabbed the second kill of this. It's a two-on-two. Two. Now the bomb can be recovered. Nafani has utility to harass here, but he is coming in through CT spawns. Doesn't want to give up the position just yet. And an opportunity now. Only towards the side, flushes Neilan out into Inter's hands, and it's Cirque. This is the time to step up with the AWP, the moment in the sun, and Cirque hits the first. He knows where the second is, the no-scope, it's not gonna hit. Don't know if he hit the keyboard or something there on the flick back around, but Nafani will clutch another one, and the fuse comes through. 14 to 5. It was very close, a decent effort there. The first shot lands, and then some for Cirque, but couldn't quite find its footing for the second. 14 and 5, indeed, Nafani will save the AWP. Money will be relatively low on the CT side, considering four players went down, but it all started here, Chad, and T-Spawn. You don't see that every game, but a pretty decent effort from Neilan and co to actually get this two-on-two -two situation going in their favor, but well positioned by Inters. And as mentioned, Cirque can't quite get the flick around. Went for by the preemptive flick. And uh, you can see he's frustrated at that one, maybe in a more jovial tone. Might have accepted this one's over. As uh, we'll see a Tech 9 for Hex. So back on the AWP. And uh, still weak money on either side. So still a chance here. Fire off the shot now. It doesn't connect. Well, we're playing EG off now at the moment, aren't we? Let's uh, see if they can give us an encore. If they can get this round, it's worth two, at least. Maybe three. We'll see what they can make of it. But it's uh, all starting with this Tech 9 probe towards the B-bomb site. In terms of the C4 itself, that's all the way in T-spawn. So nothing too committed, but some mid-presence here. AWP's made its way out. This is the gap they're looking for. And I was going to say, Nafani's the individual they're hoping to overstep the mark, but Automatic shows a bit of leg to Hobbit, and that's more than he needs to get the kill. Neil and one way. Yeah, and Hobbit's rotated back in, so they couldn't pounce. You know that Hobbit's that rotator link in this type of a round. They didn't pounce on the information that was in their favor, and now they're kind of stuck in middle here. You're a bit lost at this stage. You've only got a couple of flashbangs left. You've got Axel with full control of the round. He's confirmed along his clear. They can presumably start rotating members over towards B now. Aye. Three B. That's Neil and dropped, and they just have to go B at this stage. This is for series point, unfortunately. It's still a chance, but lots oh. of damage on route. And that's going to set up Nafani nicely. Nice uh, low HP players for him. And there you can see the assist coming in from Inters. Uh, just uh, remaining 5 on 1. Probably hits this, but that's all we have. Series point found, 15 to 5. Mm. A very, very nice round from Cloud9, though. Like the shots from Inters through that smoke, you know that teams like to do those creepy plays. And yep. when he would have tagged them with the M4, see, he didn't unleash just a full spam. He just peppered because you know that you're just looking for a tag so that Nafani, who was in that car position, could call, yeah, that there's quite a few players here. Axel with a good timing on the flank, and this is how it works out perfectly for Nafani. Look at this. Just lines up. The famous. it's not the best gun, but in a situation like that, it'll get the job done. Certainly will. And Cloud9, they've probably got the job done here right now as uh, we enter what should be the final play. Scouts, Deagles, basic utility. Even if you won this round, you wouldn't be feeling too good about your chances going forward. But we'll see what they can make of it. They will go down swinging, that's for sure. Axel patrolling the long double doors, and he actually gets himself in towards the blue bin, I believe. Actually goes back towards the corner. Key fight here, but bear in mind, Cirque only has the scout, so it's not exactly an even duel. Who will strike first? They might need that headshot. And Axel looking to farm a couple more kills. The flash out mid is good. Shiro's warning shot sounds, but it's Axel defending long. Store waters your life <laughs> delivers too. Not much we can say about this situation. That scout shot will hit. Some good buy frags. It was uh, a decent effort on Inferno. We have to remember that. Precisely, and uh, good to see Cloud9 back in.